Hey everyone, welcome to the ServiceNow Star. On today's session, I'll show you how you can easily cite an article, a knowledge article cites the, the date, uh, which is the valid date. So how long that knowledge article can be set to be valid. And I'll show you that one easily. Uh, you can do it in many ways, but with the new knowledge base, you can easily set that one with a field called article validity. And this can be set based on the knowledge base that you have. So if you come here under knowledge, administration, and knowledge base. So you'll go ahead and open one of the knowledge base that you have. Let's take a look at here the vulnerability knowledge base. So under that, we don't have right now any uh, validity, which is article validity. Now, if we go ahead and create a new article under this knowledge base, you'll see that uh, we're going to pick one of the article template, and you'll see the knowledge is automatically populated with vulnerability, and the value too is 21000101. So setting this date. Now, if your requirement is asking you to set this one a year after from today's date, article creation date, you can do so by going to the knowledge base, open the knowledge with that you're specifically looking for, and under article validity, you'll go ahead and put the date. For example, one year from today is 365. I'll add that, and an owner in this case, let's put owner is the system administrator, and I'll go ahead and save this knowledge base. And upon saving, you'll see that role is already added to that system administrator. Now, let's go ahead and create a new knowledge article for this one. For this one uh, will be standard. And then under that, you'll see that the date is automatically set to uh, 20, 24, 11, 21. That is set from the date that we have today. Okay, so that's how you can set the date for your article validity automatically when you create an article out of the knowledge base. And this can be set for each knowledge base individually. So go to IT, for example, and if you want to set the article validity to, for example, uh, 360. Okay, let's put 400. Okay, 400 days. And now we'll go ahead and save this one first. Then after I save, now if I go ahead and put new, you'll see that the article validity will automatically populate it with the new days, 2024, 12, 26. Okay, that's all we have for this. So if you have any questions or comment, please go ahead and um, put it in the comment here. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the ServiceNow Star, make sure you subscribe. So that's all we have. I want to say thank you so much for joining us. Till we see you on the next episode. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.